spin a disc. What's good, family? How you guys doing? How you guys keeping? Welcome back to the Blessed Review, fam. Trust you guys are doing okay. Now, today we've got a prophet that needs no introduction, son. Today we've got Prophet Lovi Elias yet again. You know, Prophet Lovi Elias frequents this channel, son. I mean, you're bound to know that by now, right? Yep, yep, yep. Now, today, man, he's talking to us about dreams, dreams and nightmares. You know, more specifically, nightmares, son. I mean, I, I really want to hear what he has to say about this. Because, I, you know, sometimes I get night. You know, I got nightmares on my own, son. You know what I'm saying? I believe everybody gets nightmares. Believers, people in the world, I mean, you name it, man. As long as you're a person, a human being, you get nightmares, son. Probably dogs get nightmares, too. <laughs> anyway, he's here to talk to us about nightmares and why people or why believers get nightmares son i'm ready for this i really want to hear what you guys say anyway thank you guys for tuning in remember to share like subscribe i'm your boy bliss and i'm out so you have assumed because if you see a fearful dream you assume that it is demonic no it's not to fear death is not demonic You've never died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have courage and comfort to know that there is life beyond the grave. Yeah. So there are many things that we have demonized yet it's not a demon. And by doing so we have closed the door to interacting with God. Go to the book of Genesis quick. Genesis um oh, I think I have which phone did I have it on? Let me see. Uh Genesis chapter um forty from verse five. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Each man according to the interpretation of his dream. The butler, you notice this. Read that again. Genesis 40 verse 5. Mm -hmm. And they dreamed a dream, both of them. Mm -hmm. Each man his dream in one night. Mm -hmm. Each man according to the interpretation of his dream. Everyone had an interpretation according to his dream. Because it's a message for you. Mm. So how you interpret one dream is not how you interpret all dreams. Wow. It's a specific message. That's good. Keep going. The butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, mm -hmm. which were bound in the prison. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. And Joseph came unto them in the morning and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. They were sad. Both of them saw a dream and they were sad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his Lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sad, sadly today? Mm -hmm. Verse 8. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Do not interpretation belong to God. So if God has the capacity to interpret something, it means he's the one who spoke it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not all interpretation belong. Meaning no one can take ownership of it. Usually when we minister to people prophetically and you say you saw an evil dream and you are attacked in the dream, I am using a language that you will understand. Uh -huh. But the attack is not in the dream. I remember a few years ago, uh, remember Dale and Eva? Uh, Dale had brought some guys from his youth group. Years ago and they came to, um, to the studio where I was in. And I was in the room with them and they were talking about random things and... Um, and the angel of the Lord told me that one has been having uh, nightmares because of this and this and this and this and this. So I pointed to him. I said, uh, you've been having this and this happening and it's been happening like this, like this, like this. The guy was shocked. Mm -hmm. 
I said, can I pray for you? He said, yeah. I said, you, come out of him. The guy stroked. <laughs> wow. It was creepy. Everyone ran out of the room. And the spirit was taken away because God was trying to let him know. This demon is tormenting you. This demon is following you. This demon is behind your torment. So God deprives you of your rest to reveal to you because that's a message. So that you're not comfortable. This is why it is a great disadvantage. If you don't dream, it's a bad thing. It's a bad thing if you're not capable of dreaming. It means the channel in which God should speak to you is not functional. Mm. 